this is a quick overview of progress so far on the RTOS project in Rust on my end. What I've got here is the microcontroller over here on the right. And on this side here we have uh, an RTC or real-time clock module. Uh, the RTC is connected over I2C or I squared C. <clears throat> and the display is over SPI. Um, this is the display is running at uh, the RTC SPI bus is running at <clears throat> 26 uh, megahertz. And so what this is doing right now is essentially showing a couple of things. So we have in 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 our toss terms, we have an essentially executor, or think of it as a scheduler, and there are multiple parallel processors running and blocking that scheduler, which is provided from the free our toss uh, system. And so we have see here is connected. It's got an IP address over Wi-Fi. It's displaying the current uh, date or timestamp now. What happens here is there is one separate loop that updates this when when seconds reach zero. That's one update loop. There's a second update loop where it performs uh, an SNTP call, which is a, a network time protocol, and checks over Wi-Fi for the latest time. So you can see here we've got the time is zero zero. So this is a normal loop. And so it's of course showing that the synchronized delay is uh, 20 seconds. But here we did a live refresh on over SNTP. So the delta is zero because this is the most accurate time uh, stamp essentially in this current moment. So since the SNTP sync is at the moment synchronized for 30 seconds, typically we see this refresh twice and then the third one is uh, the forced sync at when I mean, the time hits um, zero seconds. And what, so what happens here is when it also does the NTP sync, it updates the time on the real-time clock to that value. So that way the real-time clock is always in sync with the time provided to NTP and the idea here is if there's ever an um, network connectivity loss you can use the RTC as the canonical uh, source for latest time because it's got a battery backup and it also has uh, relative it's far more accurate in terms of uh, uh, in terms of accuracy compared to the system clock the system clock as a much uh, higher drift. So in terms of PPMs, uh, the uh, RTC is far more accurate in, in any case. And, to, and then we also have uh, another loop, actually two loops, um, for managing drawing the display. So I've got a simple button here. This is, this is like, this, there are a couple of buttons on the system. But I'll press this one. And you can straight away see how we switch to another page switch to another page, this is just a fake data. Um, so, so the next step I'm actually working on is is to solder up the pins for, for the battery and demonstrate uh, the details on the screen there. And uh, so you can see how this is drawing here. Now if I were to, go so this is just a, a dummy page to show Wi-Fi information, details, battery, and then back to. Thanks for watching.